going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network. All right, welcome to Rick Haddock Field, Summertown High School. We have middle school action and high school action today, starting with the middle school. Have your uh, Summertown Middle School Eagles taking on the uh, Raiders of uh, Richland Middle School. Uh, these two have already met. I believe this was the Eagles' second game of the season. They met in Linville, where Summertown had a convincing win, but I will say um, – you know, today Summertown faces uh, Gavin Schrader, who was their ace pitcher. We did not see him last time. They were saving him for Bridgeforth. And so uh, this time we didn't escape him. So he, he's uh, he's about to bat leadoff. Uh, in fact, our um, softball team, our high school softball team, faced Schrader's sister a week or two ago, and uh, she held us to only three runs in that 3-2 win, Summertown over Richland. Um Summertown's last game was this past Monday, doubleheader with Bridgeforth that they split. We'll talk about that some as we go, but Joe Calton, take it away, play by play. First pitch from Jasper Ayers is high for ball one. And uh, Of course, as we've been seeing in almost every middle school game, have one umpire. One umpire behind the pitcher yeah. out there. Next pitch is low and away for ball two. It just looks so weird without an ump behind the catcher. It does. That pitch will be outside for ball three. Gavin Schrader, quarterback, plays basketball. And he's the ace pitcher, just took strike one. Make the count three balls, one strike. Now that was inside, but he called it a strike. Again, that's um, – That'll make the count full. We'll show a replay of that here in a minute, but that was definitely – that, was that in, wasn't it, hittable. It was inside for sure. Yeah. Be a foul ball. We'll see a replay of that pitch. I mean – but you know, with him standing on that side, I know he's not you know, the he, pitcher's he, mound. It, I mean, it. I don't know. But now it's clearly a ball. That will be ball four. So lead off walk for Richland. So this looks like it brings up Trey Lockett, number twenty-eight for them. Yep, Trey Lockett. Of course, we got a lefty on the mound today. I like seeing that since Knox is currently pretty much our only lefty on the high school team. Yeah. Yeah. Which Jasper, he's – that pitch is outside. They will throw down the second. We'll get him out. How about that? Nice play right there. Nice throw by Camden Staggs, the brother of our say, high school catcher, Zach he's Staggs. acting like his older brother. Um, Jasper is just a seventh grader, right? Um, not. I think he is just a seventh grader. That brings up, or Trey Lockett still at the still bat. Still at the bat. It's it's 0 -1, one count. I think it's one one. Pitch will be lifted in the shallow right. Well, Doesn't didn't make it as far field. as I thought it was going yeah. to. Cooper Burleson will make the play for out number two. Bring up. Number two, Edwards. That's a strike. It'll be a strike. I'd like to say it's a beautiful day for baseball, but it is not. It is. Wind is just too much. Windy and chilly. It'll pitch will be tapped back to Jasper. He'll field it and make the throw to first. Hey, we'll be out number three. Leadoff walk happens, but not uh, no no danger comes from it thanks to the arm of Cannon Staggs. So uh, really just face the 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 minimum. 
Yep. So, all right, we'll be back for the bottom of the first. It's Middle School Baseball on the Exports Network. At CMB Linen, fast, friendly, and reliable service is our promise to you. Because you're not just a customer, you're family. From multi-use linen to branded floor coverings and a complete range of cleaning supplies, CMB Linen is here to make sure you have everything you need. From our high-quality products to our fast, friendly, and reliable service, you'll experience the difference with CMB Linen. Because you're not just a client, you're part of our family. You'll be winning with CNB Linen. All right, we're back. Leading things off for Summertown in the bottom of the first inning will be Camden Staggs. He is our catcher for today. Pitch will be up and in, ball one. As they have, as Will mentioned, Gavin Schrader on the mound. The 1 0 pitch is up and in for ball two. I want to say. Uh, he's played some travel ball with Cooper. That pitch is high for ball three. He missed pretty close the previous two, you know, those last two pitches. Yeah, they, they didn't miss by they much. Were close. That's right down that the middle. In there for strike one. Will be three balls, one strike. We got the windows closed because the wind is just brutal out there. Yeah, That'll be in there for strike two. Bring the count full. That'll be up for so ball four. Just like uh, the previous half inning, ran it to a full count and only to walk the batter. So Will be a leadoff walk. And that'll bring up Cooper Burleson. He is our first baseman today. Camden goes. The ball will be out, and we'll get away from the catcher. Camden will be safe at second base with no throw. That will be ball one. Count will be one ball, no strikes. Nobody out with a runner at second. That ball will be fouled out of play down the third base side. Even the count at one and one. Cooper will get the bunt down. It will go right back to the pitcher. He tries to make the play to three. Yeah. Decides to go one, but nobody was there to cover. So I think someone missed an assignment over there. Uh, or maybe when they saw him faking to third, they – they just assume they didn't have to cover first anymore at that point. So we now have runners first and third. Nobody out. Brings up the pitcher for us today is Jasper Ayers. Hey, uh, middle school's getting bunts down, Joe. They are. That looked good. They then come show our high school boys how to do that. I'd like for that bunt to be a little more down one of the lines instead of right <laughs> yeah. back to the pitcher like <laughs> good it Good point. <laughs> Can't count on the defense to not cover first every time, can you? No. Cooper will still second base on that. That was a ball out. Make the count one ball, no strikes. 
Pitch will be fouled out of play. Even the count, one and one. That'll be outside, ball two. Make the count, two balls, one strike. I don't believe there's anything going on in the softball field today. I didn't see any. No, there is some tennis going on. Vehicles over there when I left earlier. That pitch will be fouled back. <clears throat> yeah, tennis is hosting somebody over there. We'll we'll move our camera over and tune in on some of that here in between innings. Counts two balls, two strikes. It's probably why the ball dog's not here. He's probably over there watching tennis. Probably. Ball will be in the dirt. <clears throat> Bring the count full. Another full count. Pitch will be driven into left field. We'll get down for a hit. We'll score one. Scooper will advance to third. So we got runners first and third. No outs. Nice job, uh, Bring Jasper. Up. Hitting Ryan Gobble. Hitting it the other way. Ryan Gobble is playing shortstop for us today, I believe. Well, the sun is really bright now. Yeah, it is. Runner goes. No throw is made. Jasper will move up to second. That pitch was high for ball one. Next pitch is in the dirt. They throw at him. Will be ball two. Ball gets away, but not, in, not, not very far. Yeah, not in time for him to yep. take off. I guess he thought that ball got by the catcher. Because he was pretty good ways down the line. <laughs> yeah. So we got two balls, no strikes. Runners at second and third. Swing through that one for strike one. Stupid internet connections messing up, of course. That ball will be hit towards second. He'll field it and make the throw to one for out number one. That does score another run. Jasper will move over to third. <coughs> so we got a runner on third, one out. Brings up. Brings up Hudson, Hudson. Kinnick. He is our third baseman today. You know, we always knew him as Hollywood. Hollywood. When, you know, yeah, when our kids were playing growing up, but they yes. say he don't have that nickname anymore. He probably don't wear them big old fancy sunglasses anymore. <laughs> that ball will get by for ball one. Yeah, I have a feeling the coach would have preferred <laughs> yeah. the runner to score there. But his shoe's untied, so wise move. You know, you don't want him tripping halfway down. <laughs> We got one ball, no strikes, one out. Pitch will be lifted in the right field. Will get over the right fielder's head. It'll score one. Hudson will be at second base with a stand up double. Nicely done. That so was a good it, piece of hitting right there by Hollywood. So <laughs> I'll get that name started there back. You go. There you go. Let's start it back. So did it? Did it burn the right fielder? It did. It, it was over his head. He was he was tracking it, but he I guess he was too far in from the get go out there. Is that brings up? Who is that? Peyton Kimbrough. That is. Yes, Peyton Kimbrough. Number 15. Now, he wouldn't have been playing the last time, last time these two teams met up. Mm -hmm. 
Pitch is low for ball one. Look pretty good. Got one ball, one strike, one out. Runner at second base and Hudson Kinnick. Pitch right be to grounded the to the baseman. first baseman. He'll step on the bag for out number two. It does move Hudson up to third base. So it was a productive out. Yes. Brings up Eli Chun. Uh, trying number, to read. Number 99. Trying to read this lineup. I think he's in right field. Is that correct? Uh, I think that looks like a nine down there. He'll foul yeah. that ball off down the first base um, side. Ball dog is here. Will be strike number one. But um, Eli Chun, I've got bad news for you. If you if you love that number ninety nine, enjoy it while you're in middle school because Jake lost his number fifty two because the numbers just don't go that high once you're in high school. <laughs> That ball will get away. Yeah, that should score. Hollywood. Hudson it's close will play. score. It'll Pretty make, close play. It was. That'll make your score four to nothing, Summertown. So we've got one ball, one strike. We'll watch a play replay of it if time will allow. No. Not quite. Pitch will be lifted into shallow right. We'll get down for a hit. Chun will be safe at first base. Good job, Chun. That'll bring up number 32, Lincoln Wilson. We'll watch the play now. I think Lincoln is DHing for us. Yep. Pick back over to first. He's back safe. Pick over again. He's back safe. See how tall Schrader is? He's a seventh grader. Oh, wow. I think uh, Lincoln might have helped him out a little bit there. That yeah, was that would be inside. That was inside. Swung on a miss for strike one. Throws over again, very softly this time. Again, in the majors, that would be illegal, wouldn't it? A third yeah, time. Yeah, that would be, unless he got him out. Right. A little outside, but he calls it a he strike. He calls that ball a strike. Will be strike two. No balls, two strikes, two outs. Runner at first is Eli Chun. Pitches up and in. Will be one ball, two strikes. Pitches in the dirt will get away. Chun will move up to second. That'll make the count two balls, two strikes. Call Pitches it. in there for strike three. That's what he says. That's how the bottom of the first will end, but Summertown will put up four runs. They'll come out here and get ready for the second inning. We'll take a quick break, and we'll be right back. Summertown Baseball on Exports Network. Make your property rock and roll with services from GNS Excavating, specializing in white sand, compost, mulch, topsoil, landscape gravel, and steel landscape edging. Turn to the pros who know how to make your project shine with years of experience. The best part is they're locally owned and operated. Choose from a vast selection of mulch and rock from their conveniently located facility at number three Valley Road in Lawrenceburg, just off Buffalo Road. Phone 931-279-3841 and get started today.
All right, we're back. Leading things off in the top of the second. It'll be a ground ball to short, throw to first. We'll get the out. Glad it wasn't a collision there. Yeah, that, that's always tough to see right there. You know, it pulled the first baseman up the line a little bit, but in enough time for him to get turned around yeah. to see to make the play there. That'll bring up number nine, Emerson Nelson. Of course, you saw as we came back from commercial, there's a little bit going on over there at the tennis court. Not sure who they're playing today. I'm sure we'll see it on Facebook later. Second pitch will be swung on and missed. But I don't even have to ask. I already know our girls' team won today and probably swept 10 nothing because it's the same thing <laughs> every day. That pitch will be swung on and missed. Make the count one ball, two strikes. Strike three. So that'll be swung on and missed for strike three. That'll be the second out of the inning. Uh, bring up double zero, Liam McCartney. McCartney, like the Beatles. I, the lineup, it was kind of hard to read, but it. I came up with McCartney, and that's what I had last time we played him. <laughs> he hit it twice. He fouled that ball off the plate and then hit it again in his backswing. <laughs> hmm. yeah, I bet he couldn't do that again if he tried 100 more times. Probably not. That will be strike one. <laughs> That'll be inside for ball one. I'd like to watch that in slow motion if time ever allows. That's uh, that's something. Someone's about to walk in here. Pitch be in the dirt. Ball two. Just Macy. Two balls, one strike. Macy's in charge of walk-up music for middle school. Well, where was she at the first? Uh, she's inning. She's been with the. She's probably been doing something sports related. That's three balls, one strike. And that's a walk. That will be a walk. Uh, let's see if I have time to see this. I doubt I do. Here it comes. One swing and it hits it again. <laughs> that brings up number 15, Sawyer Johnson. First pitch is high and out for ball one. Pitch will be high, ball two. 2-0 count, two outs with a runner at first. Talking about lefties, middle school softball has two. Oh, That's wow. right down the middle. Yeah. That will be strike one. You know Jody Putman's daughter? Yes. She's a sixth grader and pitches really well. May Ricks also pitches left-handed. Oh, that's not Pitches a inside Golly. for strike two. Will be two balls, two strikes. I guess not the ump's fault. He just can't see from out there. Pitch will be grounded into yeah. right field. Yeah. Everybody will be safe. And that's be. that's the result of Cooper holding the runner. Yes. Uh, and he just couldn't get over there. Didn't have time to get over there and make the yeah. play on it. You know, if there's not a runner there, that's probably a routine ground ball. But. Yep. It would have been one the pitcher needed to cover. All right, with two away, we now have two on. That'll bring up number seven, the, Riley Strickland. The catcher. Right down the middle. It will be strike one. Joe, I have to be honest, it's a little hot in here. I might have to, We may have to open a window. We can do that if you need to. Pitch will be on the outside corner for strike two. Make the count. No balls, two strikes, two outs. Runners at second, first. That's out. That'll be up and out for ball one.
be grounded to third. Foul. It will be called foul. Did you see the end of Loretta Lewis County last night? I did not. It's a one-run game, seven to six, and the bases were loaded. The batter struck out. Loretta one by one. There was drama. Oh, was there? Well, I mean, drama is just you know. Oh yeah. Just yeah. having that many reach base, and yeah. I think it was seven to four going into that inning. If oh I'm, wow. If I'm, if I'm remembering correctly. We do have two balls, two strikes, two outs. Pop up. Two on. Mm, a little high. Bring the count full. Runners will be going. Be high ball four. Runners didn't go, but they should have been going. They should have been <laughs> moving on the pitch. Yeah. As Coach Burleson looks like he's going to call time and come out and talk to All right. Jasper. We'll take a quick break. Middle School Baseball on the Exports Network. Shop McMaster's Home Gallery for furniture, appliances, and more. And shop quality, shop convenience, shop service, shop local. A family-owned business with a long history of serving the region. We're a one-stop home furnishings destination. We feature brands you know, competitively priced, backed by professional installation and service. You can trust that we'll take good care of you before and after the sale. For your home, shop smart. Shop McMaster's Home Gallery today. All right, welcome back. Just about had an RBI hit by pitch. As we do make a pitch and change. We'll be number 25, Easton Huckaba. Of course, getting this out is pretty important because of who's on deck, too. That's right in there. That will be in there for strike one. We'll be one ball, one strike. As Jasper moved from the pitcher's mound and went to right field, Pitch will be low, ball two. Make the count two balls, one strike, two outs. Bases are loaded. It's quite a predicament to come into out of the bullpen. Yes. <laughs> Pitch will be inside for strike two. Just the polar opposite of last night's strike zone for the high school game, if you think about it. <laughs> yes. I don't yeah. know if there was a strike zone last night. That uh -oh. ball will be hit to second baseman. Yes, sir. He'll make the catch for out number three. Easton comes in and puts the fire out. They but, will not score a run there. And like I say, the best thing is the leadoff didn't come up right, right there. So that is the top of the second. We'll be back for the bottom of the second. This is uh, middle school baseball on the Exports Network. 
If you want the best clean and wash experience, you need to catch the happy wave at Tidal Wave Auto Spa. Don't settle for streaks, dirt residue, water spots, and weak vacuums that you can get at just any car wash. At all our locations, you will be greeted by a smiling attendant who will pre-wash your car front and back to remove any stubborn bugs and dirt before guiding you through the tunnel, where your car will be treated to the ultimate spa treatment with state-of-the-art equipment and one-of-a-kind wash experience that will give your car a showroom shine. Afterwards, you can help yourself to our free powerful vacuums, cleaning cloths, and glass and surface cleaner for the perfect finishing touch. When it comes to caring for your car, don't settle for any wash and pay for all the extras. Get the best when you catch the happy wave at your local Tidal Wave Auto Spa. All right, we're back. Leading things off in the bottom of the second will be Brady Holden. He's playing second for us. Got Cannon Stags on deck. Looks like we do have leadoff Camden on deck. First pitch will get by the catcher for ball one. Outside. It'll be outside, ball two. That'll be called strike one. Two balls, one strike. Whoever's running the scoreboard didn't believe him. <laughs> Pitch be grounded to the second baseman. Field it, make the throw over to first. We'll be out number one. That'll bring up Camden Staggs. Macy messed up his walk-up song. Oh, there we go. He's going to be mad at her. All right, that's enough, Mace. <laughs> Inside. Be inside, ball one. So middle school did play doubleheader this past Monday against Bridgeforth. We'll talk about some. Pitch will be grounded back to the pitcher. He'll field it and make the throw over to first for out number two. That hit made the ball dog bark. So Cooper Burleson will Cooper. step in with two outs. Nobody on. In the first game against Bridgeforth, Cooper Burleson pitched. It was, uh, and I believe he he pitched a one-run game all the way through, right-handed. And as he watches that one go by, he um, also had the walk-off two RBI single to win against them. 
That was the first game against Bridgeforth. We don't. We won't talk about the second. <laughs> All right. Sounds like we played a good game that first one. Yeah. This should be out of play. Be fouled out of play. We'll be two balls, one strike. Fouled over there by the graffiti wall. Yes. Saw them working on that earlier. Pitch be grounded. Another foul. Down the third baseline foul. Is Make the count. Two balls, two strikes. Yeah, the check swing on the first pitch, he caught a ball. Really? Yes. Okay. Pitch be grounded right back up middle. the middle. Will be a base hit for Cooper. That'll bring up Jasper Ayers with a runner at first, two outs. Jasper Ayers. He had a nice shot earlier. Pitch will be driven in the left center. Center fielder tries to make a play on it just out of his reach. Will be a double for Jasper. Cooper will move to third. <coughs> Good piece of hitting there by Jasper. Yeah, I, you know, that ball might have hung in the wind and, and uh, might have might have tricked the yeah, Macy. And that'll bring up Ryan Gobble. Ryan Gobble. We got runners second and third, two outs. The pitch will be driven back up the middle for a base hit. We'll score one. It will score two. Ryan will move up to second. So that will make your score Summertown 6, Richland 0. Bring up number 11, Hudson Kinnick. All this with two outs. Runner at second, two outs. Well, Cousin had a good shot previous to bat two. Pitch will be up and in, ball one. Pitch will be fouled off down the right field side. Will be one ball, one strike. That pitch, I guess, will be low. low. Ball two. Timmy, based on where the umpire is standing, it'll be tough to see a strike zone there. Yes, it is. Ball will be drove to the second baseman, make the play over to first for out number three. All right, so the first two uh, were quick outs, but then there was uh, two more runs scored. Uh, two outs, so a nice little two-out rally there. We'll be back for the top of the third. It's Middle School Baseball on the Exports Network. At Smith Tax and Business Service, we offer many services. Along with personal income tax prep, we also offer tax preparation for corporations and partnerships. If you're a small business and looking for some extra help, give us a shout and we'll get you fixed up. Call Mary Beth Smith, Marion Matthews, Brooklyn Bates, or Michelle Staggs to find out how we can help you. Located at 208 Pulaski Street, phone 931-244-6633.
All right, we're back. Leading things off in the top of the third will be Gavin Schrader. He'll foul the first pitch down out the third base side for strike one. So this is the top of the Richland lineup. We still have Easton Huckabaw on the mound. Pitch is outside, ball one. Pitch will be fouled out of play. Strike two. Make the count one ball, two strikes. Timmy, or we laid down a nice bunt single while ago. I said that middle school is going to have to come teach the high schoolers how to do that. I think somebody's going to teach Pitch will be lifted there. in the left center. Left fielder will come over and make the catch for out number one. Left fielder out there. That's Peyton Kimbrough Peyton out there. Peyton Kimbrough. That'll bring up number 28, Trey Lockett. Oh, hit him. So that'll hit him. It's a curveball, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. So, don't believe there's any intent there. I don't know if he was looking at Easton or the umpire to make sure the umpire's saying he got hit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so that'll bring up Ty Edwards. Runner at first, one out. Pitch be outside corner, strike one. Oh, yeah? Edwards has an older brother yes. on the high school team? Yes. Pick over to first. He is back safe. Remember Richland having a really good middle school team last year, and I understand a lot of those kids that were in eighth grade last year are playing varsity this year. Like, several of those kids are playing for the high school team and starting. So runner goes and he's in. He's in there safe. That pitch was outside for ball one. Earlier, Timmy Camden threw a kid out stealing second. I think he's seventh maybe. No, he is an eighth grader. That's why Macy's up here. Pitch is in there. Strike two. One ball, two strikes. The ball will be outside, ball two. Got two balls, two strikes, one out, runner at second. Little high. Ball will be just a bit high. Bring Four. the count full. Pitch will be lifted to the second baseman. Make the catch for out number two. All right, Maddox Oglesby. Oglesby. He's got one on, two outs. Ball will be up, ball one. Interesting um, matchup tomorrow for middle school softball. I thought this was odd when I saw on the schedule. Oakland is coming here. You know, that's, I assume that's like Oakland High School out of Murfreesboro. Yeah. But Oakland's coming here to play middle school softball tomorrow. 
Wow. That ball will be lifted in the right center That'll field. That'll be tough. Nope. Nope. Brady will get back and make the catch for out number three. All I right. believe he caught all three pop flies that inning, Will. Did he? I think so. All right, I'll take it. All right, so we'll be back. Middle School Baseball, Exports Network. All right, we're back. Taking Kimbrough up to bat. Kevin Schrader still on the mound. Summertown up 6 nothing. bottom third. Pitch be drove into center right field. Right to the center fielder. Center fielder will make the catch. We'll be out number one. He had him played perfectly there, Will. So Easton Huckabee's actually up to bat now because Eli Chun is out of the lineup. So he came in for Eli. Yeah. So Eli was in the seven spot. So now Easton's in the. Pitch be down the middle. Strike one. Jake Pettis is about to come in here and interrupt us. Pitch be swung on and missed. Strike two. Make it no balls, two strikes. One out. Strike three. Ball be in there for strike three. Will be the second out of the inning. That'll bring up Lincoln Wilson. I believe he's Lincoln batting Wilson. DH. Okay, I'm going to suggest... Someone's going to have to do uh, walk-up music besides Macy, I think. <laughs> First pitch will be swung on and miss for strike one. That ball will be driven in the left field over the third baseman's head. We'll get by the left fielder all the way to the wall. Well, at least two. Lincoln will be... Nice job, Lincoln Wilson. I guess it got out of the fence down there. They stopped Lincoln. him at second base. Lincoln's like Gavin, uh, Grayson yesterday. Looks like he's ready to rob a bank. Yes, with that face mask on. That'll bring up Brady Holton. Got Gavin uh, 50 pitches now. Well, we started off good with two outs last inning. We'll see if we can yeah. make something happen right here. In the dirt. Ball be in the dirt. Ball one. He <laughs> said some of the high school coaches are watching from the office. <laughs> ball catch the outside corner for strike one. Be one ball, one strike, two outs. Runner at second. Ball right lead. to the third baseman. We'll be out number three. So no uh, two out damage that time like the previous inning. Um, so when we come back, though, we'll be at the top of the lineup, I believe. Yes. 
So we'll be back for the uh, top of the fourth. It's middle school baseball on the Exports Network. All right, we're back. Leading things off in the top of the fourth for Richland will be Emerson Nelson. We still have Easton Huckabee on the mound. That pitch will be in the dirt, ball one. Timmy's so loud I can hear him from in here. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> this. Hope he's okay. <laughs> I think. Just barely. I a... almost think they hit the knob of the bat. Oh, really? I don't know about that. I mean, I, I assume they would have heard it if he if he had. But here's. <laughs> you see how it bounces off right there? Yeah, I think I it might think... have been off an elbow guard or something. Well, anyways, that'll bring up Liam McCartney. He'll pop that ball up down the third base side. Hudson Kinnick will make the play for out number one. Oh boy, Hollywood. Hollywood. The runner can't tag on that one, so we've got a runner at first, one out. Who we, bring got, up who we got in the pods over Sawyer there? Sawyer Johnson. Brady Holden's grandmother's in one of them. Look like Huckabo's mom was in one, too. Ball be in the dirt. Ball one. Ball will be out. Ball two. Two balls, no strikes. One out. Runner at first. You know, middle school is nearing the end of their schedule. Yes. As far as regular season. Pitches in. Be ball three. Three oh. Which they start what? They around start, Valentine's they, Day? They started President's Day. This past year. Pick back to first. Runners back safe. And it was a beautiful day, too, that opening day. And the open hole of the week of middle school was really nice. And then just miserable now. This you is know, what you get. Six weeks later. We'll be in the dirt. Ball four. Coach Jason looks like he's going to come out and take a mound visit. All right, well, we'll just take a quick break. It's the Middle School Baseball on the Exports Network. The Raptor Series from Hustler Turf. A premium line of residential mowers. Designed with a wide stance for operator comfort. A one-piece 11-gauge steel frame and welded steel deck for added durability. Finished off with premium Kawasaki V-Twin power. We are Hustler Turf. 
No All changes. Right, we're back. Swing and a miss. We'll be. Oh, they're going to back pick the guy at second. They will get him in a rundown. They will get him out going to third base. All right. The runner from first will advance to second. Good job, Coach Burleson, by dialing that up. <laughs> the count is no balls, one strike. We now have two outs with a runner at second. This is Riley Strickland up to bat for It has a 0-1 count. Ball will be outside, ball one. Ball be up and out, ball two. Make the count, two balls, one strike. There's Timmy back there. The man, the myth, the legend. Ball swung on and missed for strike two. Make the count, two balls, two strikes. I think is Timmy knows how this broadcasting works. He knows he can be seen. He's like, I want everybody to see me. <laughs> Ball will be lifted into shallow left. They will hold the runners at – well, no, that runner's going to move to second base right was, there. Nobody was covering second. So they'll have runners second and third with two outs. Well, again, just uh, how big was getting that previous run down there? Oh, yeah, that was big because that would have scored – he would have scored for sure right there yeah. on that hit. Bring up number 23, Hunter Starling. As that ball was going <laughs> to hit him, and he bunted it foul, will be strike one. Oh, me. I, I could tell he was dropping his bat during, you know, the, the wind-up, but he was about to try to bunt, like right there. Mm. Ball will be fouled back. Will be strike two. No balls, two strikes, two outs. Got a runner at second and third. Ball be grounded back ah. to the pitcher. They're going to score on this one. He can't handle it. They will score one. There will be a runner first and third, two outs. Scores now, Summertown six, Richmond well, one. Worse, it brings them back to the top of the lineup here. Yeah, that's a shame. You got the you got the weak contact that you wanted. Yeah, and that, I mean, that's a hard play to make coming off the side of the mound right there for yeah. a pitcher. That brings up Gavin Schrader. Fakes to third, goes to first, everybody's safe. Almost worked. It did. You know, I've seen that several times in high school this year, but I don't remember seeing that a whole lot last year during the middle school uh -huh. season. Does that pitch will be outside, ball one. You know, if this runner on first steals... I think you just put them on, don't you? Yes. I mean, I I probably would. Two balls, no strikes, two outs. Which looks like they may be doing that anyway. That'll bring the count to 3-0. Uh, somebody's been warming down there. So. Uh, I think it was Eli Chun. Oh, okay. Who's been out of the game. So he'll have to re-enter. Yes. Right down the middle. That'll be in there for strike one. Make the count three balls, one strike. That'll be in ball four. All right. Base is loaded. Jason's coming out. I'm guessing there will be a change, so we'll be back in a few minutes. Home, shop smart. Shop McMaster's Home Gallery today. 
Do you ever worry about having too much in the garage? What about where you're going to put the mower or your ATV or better yet, your mother-in-law? Look no further than Quality Storage Buildings located right next door to Flat Rock Cheese and More on the Minor Hill Highway in Pulaski, Tennessee. There you'll find the answer to your need in a compact or spacious metal building. Built by hand right at Flat Rock by some of the finest craftsmen around, there's a perfect building for everyone, including economy, utility, cabin, lofted or garage models, and even an animal shelter line. Buy or rent to own, see the different models at Flat Rock or on North Main Street in Ardmore and on Highway 43 South in Dunn. Call today, 931-363-3603 or 931-201-2205. The Summit of Lawrenceburg is the premier senior and assisted living community in the region. The Summit makes it home for you or your loved one with diverse suites that welcome and encourage. All right, we're back. So we do make a pitching change. We'll be Eli Chun. We'll be number 28, Trey Lockett, batting for Richland. Good stuff there. Pitch will be low and out. Ball one. We do have two outs. Bases are loaded. Pitch will be low and away. Ball two. Again, it's just a tough situation to come into. It is. Ball will be popped up. Uh, just execute this, guys. Hollywood. There you go. Kenny will make the catch for out number three. All right, well. Good job. Uh, so we Eli only Chun. allow one there. Yeah. You know, it could have been a lot worse. That's right. So we'll take it. All right. So we'll be back. It's Middle School Baseball Exports Network. Here at Heritage Automotive, experience the difference with our great sales department, service department, and parts department. Now offering up to $10,000 off on all Chevy and GMC model 1500s. And we have over 30 lenders with some of the best rates in the market. Hi, it's Tad with Heritage Automotive. We want you to know when it comes to your vehicle, you deserve help, not hassle. With our 30 plus years of experience of being your local dealership, we're here to serve you. So whether it's routine maintenance, mechanical repairs, collision repairs, we're here to help. So give us a call today to schedule your service. Heritage Automotive, expect more, experience the difference. All right, we're back. Leading things off here in the bottom of the fourth will be Camden Staggs. Gavin Schrader is still on the mound for Richland. Some high school games are getting underway. 
Try to give you some updates on those. Pitch to be inside, strike one. For one, looks like Lawrence County is just now starting against Murfreesboro Central Magnet. That's in so a softball at home. Central Magnet baseball was there yesterday. Ball's outside. It's a shame and they didn't schedule one, those one. the same day. Yeah. Lawrence County baseball is swept by Central Magnet. I believe they, they're playing Rogers, Alabama yeah, right now. Yeah, I think they are at this very moment. I'll try to pull them up next. That ball gets by for ball two. It'll be two balls, one strike. Ball will be up. 3 1. We got some clouds up there. I don't think there's any danger of uh, I don't, rain. Today. I don't think it's supposed to rain any today from what I'd looked at earlier. Ball will be lifted in the shallow right. As right fielder makes the catch. He'll make the catch for out number one. That'll bring up Cooper Burleson with one out. Yeah, as Loretta High School's playing Mount Pleasant in softball, and then Lawrence County baseball's playing Rogers. We'll have to see how that's going. That'll be in there for strike one. Looks like Lawrence County is losing to Rogers eight to two. Oh wow. Was not expecting that. Ball be fouled. Strike two. And that's in the top of the fourth. All right, Cooper's down 0-2. Ball be outside. Ball one. Again, I think these two guys are buddies. Pitch will be right through the hole. Right into the 5-6 hole for a base hit for it Cooper. Got, gets by the left fielder. Oh, so. wow. It does. Cooper's going to go on to second. So we'll have runner at second. One out for Jasper Ayers. Nice job hitting the ball the other way through that hole on, with, on an 0-2 count, too. That was a nice piece of hitting there. Good job. Yeah. It was a 1-2 count. Uh, he just got picked off. So he got picked off at second base. We'll be out number two. So just in case Cooper thought he could brag to his buddy Gavin about getting hit off of him, Gavin's like, well, I'll show you. Yeah. I don't know what exactly Cooper was doing there. Uh, he was way off the bag and kind of – I don't know if he thought nobody was covering. Does that ball be grounded to first? We'll get over to make the play for out number three. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate, but we will still have a five-run lead. We'll be back for the fifth. Be right back.
All right, we're back. Eli Huckabus or Eli Chun is still on the mound for us. Batting for Richland is Ty Edwards. I know it's not my decision to make, but I've hereby fired Macy from <laughs> doing the walk up music. We got to find someone else that pays more attention. Not me. <laughs> That'll be in there for strike one. Ball will be grounded to short. Ah, it takes a tough hop, gets into left. Runner will be safe. I hate that for for Chun. He got the ground ball he wanted. Yeah. It, I mean, now, I he's, now he's got to deal with the leadoff runner. I don't know what happened out there, but it just looked no, like look it like jumped right it. over his right shoulder. That's Maddox uh, Oglesby. That's going to get fouls that one out of play. For strike one. People look pretty cold sitting over there. Yeah. That balls in there for strike two. Will be no balls, two strikes. Nobody out. With a runner at first. We'll pick over to first. He's back safe. Low. Be low. Ball one. Pretty good O2 pitch there. Yeah, that's not a bad pitch. Try to get him to chase something right there and get a strikeout. That ball will be fouled out of play down the first base side. Count will stay. One ball, two strikes. So, Joe, both of your boys playing Dixie Youth or just one of them? Or? Uh, Zane and Brooks both are playing. So, um, so Zane would be in, like, the oldest? He's 11 and 12. 11 yeah. and 12. So, they got two teams playing each other? They or? have two teams. Okay. That ball will be fouled out of play. Count will stay. One ball, two strikes. And then Brooks is in seven eights. Okay. Hey, that's when we had fun. That was a fun when when fun Knox time and Jake for played. Sure. Yep. A nice pitch nice, there. Nice, nice curve ball that right there for sweet. strike three. We will be the first out of the inning. I like that. Let's see, if we can watch that again. Time allows. Uh, he tries to pick off, so it gives us some more time to watch it. Just falls right in there. Yep, good pitch. That'll bring up number nine, Emerson Nelson. Ball be up, ball nice one. Time. Be one ball, no strikes. Just want to get an inside pitch. Will be grounded to the pitcher. But he threw ah, it. He throws it in the center trying to get the out at second. Yeah, got to get your balance a little better. Yeah. So that'll give them runners first and second. Both have reached on errors. Yep. So they will have runners first and second, one out for Liam McCartney. And so Richland's keeping the line moving at the bottom part of their lineup, and they'll be at the top part soon. Yes. Ball will be popped up to the pitcher. Eli will make the catch for out number two. And that does bring off, bring up your. Uh, no, we're at no. Sawyer Johnson. No, we're not the leadoff. Not the leadoff. Sawyer Johnson's up with two outs. Runners first and second. Ball's outside. Ball one. Low. Be low. Ball two. Lawrence County's trailing eight to two still. Lawrence County softball's up to nothing on Central Magnet. 
ball we drove into right the hole right through the hole in the right field try to get the out at first but cannot so bases will be loaded two outs for Riley Strickland we can Summertown's played with fire a couple of times. I think the last inning ended with bases loaded. It did. Would really like to see the same thing happen here. So bases loaded, two outs. We'll bring up Riley Strickland. Outfield's way in. That ball will be driven to the left. It will get down. It will get all the way to the wall. Three runners are going to score. Easy. Will be a three-run double. Three-run score before it even comes into the dirt. So that will make your score six to four. Well, two of those were errors, yes. mind you. And that's what usually happens. They usually come back to bite you. So that'll bring up. The Riley's say no. Uh, no, that's number 23. Hunter, Hunter Starling. Starling. He squares the bunny. He will get it down. Stags will come out and make the play to first for out number three. All right. So a couple of errors lead to uh, three runs scoring there. Uh, you know, some uh, big. Big time hitting from uh, the kid that just hit that. Yes. That was a big, big hit for them. Right yeah. There. Like, and I just said before the pitch, it's like, well, our infield sure is playing shallow, and then boom. So, all right, we'll be back. It's middle School Baseball on the Exports Network. All right, we're back. Leading things off on the bottom of the fifth for Summertown be Ryan Gobble. This win didn't keep Mr. Louie from coming and watching. Nope. As Richland did make a pitching change, will be Sawyer Johnson. First pitch low, ball one. Summertown needs to get a couple of those runs back. That ball will be popped up. <laughs> we'll get out of play. I heard Timmy say right on top of you, Will. I think it was Adam. Oh. I don't see Timmy out there. 
I guess Adam's just going to take the day off, uh, Joe. I mean, he can come in here out of the wind and talk with us. And that ball will be in the dirt. Make the count three balls, one strike. I'll scoot over and give him some room. Well, just, I guess we'll let him be a dad today. So me and Joe are calling this. Neither one of us have a kid on the team. Just do it for fun, you know. Yeah. That pitch was in there for strike two. Strike two. Be two balls, two strikes. A little outside. Be ball three. Make the count full. You know, a leadoff walk right here would be big, Will. It would. Hope we don't help him out. Yeah. So. yeah. That would have been a strike. He'll ground that to the first baseman. Tries to throw it to the pitcher to get the out, but the pitcher couldn't hang on to it. Ryan will advance to second. All right. That uh, brings up Hudson Hollywood. King. I hope he goes back and watches this and hears how many times we call him <laughs> Hollywood. Yeah, I mean, that's maybe his name. It'll, maybe it'll stick again. He needs to get that Hollywood walk-up song back too that he used to have. Yes, played. that was awesome. He stepped out. You could play it again, Mace. They're doing a pitch. They're doing a runner. Uh, they're getting all Ryan's protective gear. Oh. We do got a runner at second, no outs. Ball be in the dirt, That's a good ball one. Good scoop there by the catcher. They throw back, try to get Ryan, but him and the shortstop was kind of in the same position yeah, there. Yeah, they were. They will pick the second. He's back easy. So I'm sure you've already said this. Gavin Schrader's moved short. I didn't say that. I just told who the new pitcher was. Pitch be drove foul down the right uh, left field line over here. You got Peyton Kimbrough on deck. Ball will be outside in the dirt. Uh, I'm afraid he's going to be out. If he had slid, for sure, he would have been. Well, I guess he's safe. Yeah, the throw kind of took the third baseman away from the bag. Tried to I make the tag. why he doesn't slide there. I'm not sure. He just slide there. It is a 2-1 count. Runner at third. That ball will get away. He doesn't try to advance here. So I'll make it 3-1. Three. Three, Ball be popped up. We'll get out of play. As you see here, my uh, security guard has arrived. You know, guarding the entrance to make sure nobody interferes. You know, keep Jake out of here and stuff and bother me. That's nice. Yeah. Officer Marks. That'll bring the count full. Three balls, two strikes. Ball be grounded to short. He will bobble, bobble it. it a little bit, but he will make the throw to first for out number one. That does score it a run. will score as a run. Make your score Summertown seven, Richland four. Well, they did get one of those runs back. Is that'll bring up Peyton Kimbrough. <laughs> Macy and the walk-up music. His, his music lasted a second and a half. She says it's not her fault. That ball's outside. Ball one. We've got nobody on with one out. Ball 
Ball will be grounded to short. He'll field it and make the throw over to first for out number two. That will bring up Eli Chun. So Eli Chun now instead of Easton Huckabee. Macy messed up again. She is so fired. <laughs> That ball will be fouled down the left field line out of play. Strike one. Of course, I mess up at this occasionally. And they haven't fired me yet. Well, Will, if everybody's seen all the buttons and stuff you had to push in here, <laughs> ball will be low and away, ball one. It is a lot. I have a feeling my bald head's shining. <laughs> Brightly as the sun's hitting us. Uh, you're kind of behind the center pole of that window. <laughs> okay. Now no, you're not. <laughs> ball be up. Ball two. Make the count. Two balls, one strike. Ball be grounded. Foul. foul down the third base side. Make the count 2-2. Two, two. Timmy knows how to make an entrance, don't he? Yeah, he does. I don't know how he got by my security out there. You better crank security up a little bit. <laughs> Ball will be in the dirt. Make the count full. Three balls, two strikes. Now I'll put my hat on so the glare won't be so bad. All right, full count, two outs. This team is taking somebody a heater again. Wow. Ball will be driven foul he out swung of play. It, he swung at ball four. That was that a That almost though. went in the concession stand window. Count will stay full. Let's see another swing like that. Ball will be grounded to the second baseman. Build it. Make the throw to first for out number three. Well, they do get one of the runs back, but that's it. So we'll be back for the top of the six. That's middle school baseball on the Exports Network. Do you ever worry about having too much in the garage? What about where you're going to put the mower or your ATV or better yet, your mother-in-law? Look no further than quality storage buildings located right next door to Flat Rock Cheese and More on the Minard Hill Highway in Kalaski, Tennessee. There you'll find the answer to your need in a compact or spacious metal building. Built by hand right at Flat Rock by some of the finest craftsmen around, there's a perfect building for everyone, including economy, utility, cabin, lofted or garage models, and even an animal shelter line. Buy or rent to own, see the different models at Flat Rock or on North Main Street in Ardmore and on Highway 43 South in Dunn. Call today, 931-363-3603 or All right, we're back. Timmy's got this group of uh, students with a heater heater next to him and Joe's wife. 
Slightly Lead. outside. Leading things off for Richland will be number 11, Gavin Schrader. So they're about at the top of their lineup. And he's... Ball will be inside. <laughs> and so they will the award him first base. Well, he took off pretty quickly. So we'll have a runner at first. I mean, it must have just grazed his jersey. Brings up Trey Lockett. Pick over to first. He's back safe. It's really important they get to the top of this lineup. Ball will be lifted into left center. Hagen oh. Smith tries to make a diving catch. Can't get to it. It will be a single. Nice try. So I have runners first and second, no outs. Will be Ty Edwards. Ball will be outside, ball one. High school team's been getting warmed up over there. Ball be up and in. Ball two. Tim, yeah, I could hear him hitting over there in the back yeah, cage. Of course, Timmy's doing his vocal warm-ups over here, getting ready for his big game. Ball be fouled out of play down the third base side. I think he swung at ball three. Make the count two balls, one strike. Get a lot of people here. Sounds loud out there. I like to hear it. Ball be lifted into left center. Should be an easy play. Left fielder will make the catch. The runner doesn't tag or anything. We'll be out number one. Runners remain first and second. We'll bring up Maddox. Oglesby. Macy's asking me for money. Like she's got a job to do. She can't be leaving. <laughs> yeah. Ball's in there. Strike one. This is Oglesby. Inside, ball one. I might jinx by saying this, but notice they've not really tested our catcher anymore, have they? No, they haven't. Since Strader got thrown out earlier. We got one ball, one strike, one out. Yeah, that's inside. Two balls, one strike. I do have runners at first and second. Ball be low and away. Ball three. Anybody warming? No. Nope. nope. Hadn't seen anybody down there either. That'll be ball four. Will walk. Base is loaded. Coach Burleson's going to come out, have a little mound visit. All right. We'll be right back. Middle School Baseball, Exports Network. Whether you're shopping in Lawrenceburg, Loretto, Summertown, or Mount Pleasant, Tegan's Food Stores has you covered with the best quality food at the best prices. From Cash Saver to Superama and CB Foods, stop by your neighborhood Tegan's Food Store today. If there ever was such a thing as a company that could do almost anything, well, Tenneke Properties is it. These guys know how to completely transform your existing home into something new or just do it room by room. Need a new bathroom or kitchen? 
What about a fresh coat of paint? Even a new floor? Looking for dirt work? Tenneke has you covered. Oh, and you can even rent a dumpster from them too. That's Tenneke Properties. Visit Tenneke.com or phone 931-244-4602. All right, we're back. Summertown did make a pitching change. It will be Ryan Gobble. They will hit a grounder to third. Uh, they tried to get the force out at home, but it was, it was way over off the, target. Yeah. Over the catcher's head. They will score a run. Make your score Summertown well, seven, Richland five. Again, that's a shame because, again, that was just ex the exact contact you needed. It, the, it, it was hit out there pretty slowly, though, so you had to kind of make a rush move. So bases are loaded for Liam McCartney. First pitch from Gobble, strike one. Seven to five is your score. Ball's in the dirt, ball one. Summertown's in danger of letting this one slip away. Pitch be popped up. First baseman. All we'll right. make the catch for out number two. Just what the doctor ordered. And when Ryan come to pitch, Cooper went to short and Jasper came over to first base. So okay. that's your changes. It should be all the changes that was made. This will be their now pitcher, Sawyer Johnson. Bases loaded two outs. He takes strike one. Up and in, ball one. So while Macy was gone, there was a pitch and change, and she missed her assignment of playing music during the pitch and change. Ball's in the dirt. There's a 3-0. It's 2-1. Two two one. One. First pitch he called a strike. You know, know where to put him. Ball's in there, strike two. Count will be two balls, two strikes, two outs. Bases are loaded. Give it to him. There struck you go. Him out. <laughs> That's how your yeah. sixth inning will end. I know it's a little, uh, a little outside there, but I thought it was too close to call. So they, oh, they're going to call the game here. So I guess since it was a double header today, they they agreed coming in this was just going to be six innings. So Summertown. They will get the win, seven to five over Richland. And you know, and, and Gobble only had to throw eight or nine pitches there. Yeah, which I'm sure is a good thing. So seven, seven to five is your final score in the middle school game. We'll end this broadcast. We'll take a little break, um, and we'll be back with high school action. So this has been Joe Calton and Will Pettis and Macy doing the uh, walk up music poorly. Uh, you've been watching middle school baseball on the X Sports Network. Going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network.